I'm really clipped off the pads. Wes is going to chase that, but I think you can save your legs, buddy. That is going to run away easily for the first boundary here on day three. Marcus Harris drives, finds the gap. Jordan Buckingham in pursuit. It's unlikely that he'll get there. Oh, big appeal. It's been hit on the pads and he's been given. Will Pekoski is holding his ground. He wasn't very happy with that decision. Played through the gap. Oh, helped along. It's where beautiful shot from Marcus Harris. Helped around the corner from Hanskin. Splits the gap. Four more. So we're putting down, you say, Shooter, you know, just didn't back you in to say, like, you know, too wet and her and Sophie Mullen, you're like, yeah, look, we don't think we're going to bowl the extra overs. You're like, short ball pulled away very nicely by Peter Hanscom. He has not moved. It is a short boundary, but that would have gone to the long boundary just as easily. Well, down the leg side, it's been a loud appeal and he has been given out. Marcus Harris, not happy, maybe just with the way he's been chest region. Short ball and Peter Hanscom. Hanscom drives. That's oh, and he beats shot. the mid off mid on fielders and he's gonna get a boundary. Down the track and lofted. It's gonna clear mid on. And should bounce away. Down the track again. This one's much bigger. Go back on the hill. Crowd catch. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That was... Oh, my. That was nearly a catastrophe, I think, on the hill. Go back, review that, and go, yep, cool. I was mixing up as I thought I was. Madison slashes away for four. Fantastic shot. Very short. Slapped away by Hanscom. Go and fetch that. Goes, and there it is. Won't quite make the rope on the fall, but it's enough to bring up another half century. That's a great shot from Madison. Laid back and slammed that behind point for six. Driving through cover. Glorious from Nick Maddinson. Without actually giving him six. And that skied in the air, coming underneath it and taking the catch. That sounded really nice. Came off the meaty part of the bat. That shot is caught. At point. Edge down. It's going to run away. You think it should go all the way to the boundary. Pulled with a bit of power by Hanscom. As we work to do here for Wes Agar as a sweeper, but he can't cut that off. Pulled again. Going to be four again. Running away. Clutters into the pickets here. Back to back boundaries. Nicely pulled. Four for Harper. Running away to that short boundary. Of getting on a skateboard. And this time, Peter Hanscom has got some bat on it and it'll fly to the fine leg boundary. Harper. It's got enough bat on it. Didn't mind hitting it in the air, and he's found the gap. Short ball, nicely cut away by Sam Harper. And enough to get it to the point boundary. That one's off the back of the bat, is it? Kerry got there, I think. He's saying yes, he did. Might have done some damage to himself as well. Eat up, thanks. Edged and over the top of Gully. And this will roll down to the rope for four runs. Top left corner. Pulling around the corner. Beats the field. Goes to the boundary. And brings up 100 for Pete Hanscom. Fantastic shot from the Victorian captain. It's been a real captain's knock if there ever one, one, was one today. Full ball and driven beautifully down the ground. This time... In between the mid-off and mid-on fielders, again a valiant effort from 
Jordan Buckingham and interesting tactics from David Grant around the wicket short ball it's been helped along to the fine leg boundary he's setting himself up for it and he smashed this one we see Nathan McSweeney from around the wicket to Will Sutherland who cuts him away but you couldn't do that yeah of course or swung away same direction and another six this time for Peter Hanscom. Typical chase in the fourth innings of a game. As Peter Hanscom swings this one away, long way forward of square. Great slash up on the toes by Peter Hanscom. A lot of work to do from McSweeney and he won't be good enough to get that in. Just Swung hard, chance. Yes, it's been claimed. Peter Hanscom just thought for a second it might have got there, but in the end, it's a superb catch. And a bit more reward for Buckingham. He grabs his third. Knocking off work. If we can work it. Cut. Half chance, but it's flown away. Too hot to handle. As we say, nothing silly. A big lofted drive up over cover. Slashed. Through cover. Well, maybe that's some intent. We're going to go after the quicks. Another boundary. So we've got another one down. A wicket falls. And do we have a declaration? I think not. We're going to keep going. Will Sutherland, a good catch. So full short of his maiden. How many more do you want to add on tonight? This one's cut away nicely. You're going to be work to do here for Henry Hunt in pursuit. In fact, Jordan Buckingham's going to come around as a sweeper as well. And... Pick it up and some good aggressive running. A perfect throw might have troubled them, but without it being right over the top of the bales, they're able to come for three to conclude McSweeney. And looks like that declaration might be coming. No, Mitchell Perry is... Fields, here we go. Final, first ball of the final innings. Straight away, big appeal. Gee, wouldn't have that been something for Victoria to... Ball in. Overpitched, clipped away, first runs of the innings. And that's what he can do, Jake Weatherall. Puts a hand through the ball so cleanly, so often. Head gully. Much shorter ball, pulled away. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Weatherall. Uh, on the wicket this time, and he's been clipped away. Turn to talk about. Nice shot. Jake Featherall nicely forward to it, just opened the face of his bat. A wonderful cover drive this time from Jake Weatherall. A beautiful shot from Jake Weatherall. Part of the family now. Henry Hunt leaves that ball alone and doesn't waste any time in turning around towards the dressing room and walking off. Job well done.